Hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're going to use the Optimum 400 juicer to make something besides juice. Who likes a good bit of almond butter? I absolutely do. But if you look at it in the shops, in the health food shops, or even in the health food section of Coles or Woolies, it's a bit pricey. You can get almond much, much cheaper. So with your Optimum 400 juicer, you can make your own almond butter at home very, very quickly. I am gonna give you a few tips about how to put it together and which parts to use though. So what I've got here is the juicer bowl. And normally if I was making juice, I would then put the spinning brush and one of the sieves of my choice, so the coarse or fine, straight into that juicer bowl. But what we're going to do today is leave the spinning brush, leave the sieve out or the, sieve, the strainer out and use this blank strainer. This blank strainer has no holes at all and sometimes called a homogenizing plate. You do still need to line it up normally, so using the black dot and the red dot, making sure that the pieces are locked into place correctly. And we can kind of hear it click in there. I'm then going to turn it over. Normally when I'm juicing, I would push this stopper all the way in to prevent the pulp coming into my juice and vice versa. And this time I'm just going to sit it lightly. I'm not going to push it all the way in. So the opening is partly um, open. We then put the auger or the squeezing screw straight into the middle, squashing that down in place and pop the lid on, lining up the white dot with the black dot and turning it into place. So it's very, very simple, very, very easy to put together. And then we simply just pop that lid on top very easily. There is the tamper, which we may use as we go through. So what I've got here is two cups of almonds. I did soak those almonds overnight and I soaked them in filtered water, um, letting them become softer to swell up and now they're activated nuts, which means the enzymes are more bioavailable and we're able to get uh, more nutrient from that nut. I'm now with this um, homogenizing plate, need to turn the juicer on. And what we'll see is that out one side comes the almond butter and out the other side comes nothing at all. Look at that, quick and easy to make the nut butter. And I absolutely love it. Now you can, if you like, remove the shells of the almonds. Now that they've been soaked overnight, I could rub them between my hands or fingers and easily remove that shell. So if I didn't want any pulp in, in the shell, in the um, actual butter, that would be easy to do. Normally just rubbing them together in your hands or using your fingers to get it off. But I certainly don't mind a little bit of extra fibre. Almonds are one of the most alkaline nuts. Actually, they're the only alkaline nut that we can consume on a regular basis. So almond butter is way better for you than peanut butter, though people keep asking for it. So in another episode, I'm gonna show you how to make peanut and coconut butter in the Optimum 400 juicer. So remember to subscribe, to subscribe for the Fruity TV YouTube channel if you would like to get another recipe for your juicer. And there we have it. We have almond butter made quickly, easily, smoothly, without a lot of noise. And the best thing that you could possibly do with this, grab yourself a little date, take the seed out of the middle, pop it aside, and then put a little piece of that fresh almond butter straight in the middle of the date. Wrap it up and enjoy. It's like your own little mini Snickers bar. So that's all for this time. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.